viewers welcome to agri watch if you are watching this channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe this channel let us move on to today's news highlights nutri kitchen garden and the second topic is arakana climber in kerala gets national award for novelty let us see in detail nutri kitchen garden is the growing of nutrient rich crops in residential houses or in their vicinity to meet the requirement of the family all year round and the benefits are increase availability of food and nutrient sources sources of supplementary income that is up to 20% and we can obtain fresh and safe that is chemical free vegetables and fruits from the garden in urban areas nutri kitchen gardening can be promoted in the form of rooftop gardening terrace gardening vertical gardening and container gardening in rural areas these nutri kitchen gardens can be promoted in backyard of the houses let's see the pusa varieties for enhanced nutritional benefits for carrot pusa rudra and pusa Astista. It contains lycopene and anthocyanin. And for palak, pusa jodi and pusa bhardi, it contains vitamin A, vitamin C, iron and calcium. And tomato, pusa upahar, pusa hybrid two, pusa rohini, it contains vitamin C and lycopene. And for vegetable mustard, Pusa Sak 1, it contains vitamin C, carotene. And Amaranthus, Pusa Kiran, Pusa Kirti, contains vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium and iron. For bitter gourd, Pusa Hybrid 1 and 2, it contains vitamin A, vitamin C, iron and calcium. And for broad bean, Pusa Sumit, it contains protein. As we know, pulses contain protein. And the next one is pumpkin, Pusa Hybrid 1 and Pusa Vikas. It contain vitamin A. In Pusa Hybrid 1 and Pusa Vikas contain vitamin A. Let's move on to the next highlights. Arakan and Climber in Kerala gets national award for novelty. The automatic Arakanic Climber developed by Mr. Suresh PV from Malapuram region received uh, Malapuram uh, in Kerala state received national third prize in the 10th biennial innovation award of national innovation foundation the award was given to him during the festival of innovation and entrepreneurship which was inaugurated by president of India Sri Ramnath Kovind at Gandhinagar in Gujarat the automated or mechanical arakana climber basically works in petrol engine that climbs and harvests with the help of a remote control. The machine that includes a forward, reverse and neutral gears is adjustable to palms of different thickness and finishes the harvesting operation in just 2 to 3 minutes. The fuel consumption is about half liter per hour. Fuel consumption is half liter per hour. The climbing and harvesting operation can be done in 2 to 3 minutes. The Suresh Innovation was also awarded first in agriculture category at the Rural Innovation Startup Conclave at National Institute of Rural Development in Hyderabad. Next highlight is crop of the day. Today I will be discussing the crop groundnut. See. Groundnut it's commonly or scientifically we can call as Arachis hypergia. It is also known as peanut, earth nut or monkey nut. It contains 45% oil and 26% protein. Okay. 
and the oil cake of groundnut contains 7.3% nitrogen. Its major area is India and its production is high in, in China followed by India. In India, it is highly produced in Gujarat and their classifications. There are two classifications, bunch type and spreading type. Uh, the bunch type, it is Arachis Hypogea variety fasciata and the varieties are Jodi and TMV2. And next is spreading type, Arachis Hypogea var precumbens, its varieties. Chandrika, TMV1 and RS1. It is a short day, self-pollinated and seed tree plant. The fruit type is pot or you can also call nut. The bitterness of kernel is due to uh, the presence of aflatoxin. The origin of groundnut is from Brazil. That's all. And the term of the day is popping in groundnut. Let us see what is popping in groundnut. It is the pores without kernels or unfilled grains due to calcium deficiency. So it is due to calcium deficiency. The pore without kernels or unfilled grains will be formed. See in detail about the calcium deficiency, how it affects. Calcium is more important for groundnut. Often lack of calcium reduces the yield and quality more than the other element. The calcium requirement is very high, especially for the gynopha development, that is peg development and also for pore filling. Early ovule abortion was Prevented by using adequate calcium supply, otherwise pore grain does not fit. Calcium is taken up directly from the soil by the pores and inadequate supply resulted in pores without teeth that is called as pops or blackened pumule inside the seeds. It is also called as blacker, blackened pumule. Since the calcium is immobilized in older leaves, the deficiency of course at the fresh and emerging leaves. The calcium deficiency in the leaves is characterized by the development of a localized pitted area on the lower surface of the leaves which later on converts into large necrotic spots. Cracking of basal stem and dieback of shoot at later stage of the growth also sometimes occurs. Severe deficiency result in the death of root tips and terminal buds take place. The plumule damage is eliminated by the application of gypsum at the rate of nearly 500 kg per hectare during the flowering stage or it is prevented by the application of 20 kg gypsum per hectare as basal before planting followed by the application of 200 kg per hectare on 45th day after planting. All today's news highlights. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned. If you are watching this channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe this channel. After subscribing, you can click the bell icon so that you will get notified for every update. Thank you for watching this video.